Hi everyone, hope you are doing fantastic. So today's video is going to be a haul video. This is um, a haul that I did for Thanksgiving, not the Black Friday. These are not discounted prices, not standing in a, a line for long hours and getting these items, but these were just uh, items that I wanted to try and um, I happened to go to the mall on Friday that's the Black Friday day and um, I picked these items up and a couple of them are from a previous haul I've never shown them in a beauty uh, haul video but I did use these products so you must have seen a couple of those nail products already in my nails of the month if you haven't checked that out I'll go ahead and link the video below or you can just go back three four videos back and you will see the nails of the month for October and November and I'm also filming my um, nails of the month every month from now on since a lot of you have requested for that okay so let me go ahead and quickly show you uh, the first beauty items are these are all nail polishes and just one lipstick so I'll just go ahead and quickly show you I bought these at Target. These uh, were colors that I wanted to try and I've never tried any Revlon nail polishes surprisingly. So I saw them for $3.99 and I wanted to try these colors. And after I picked up, I knew that this was a very, very popular color here on YouTube. This is the Revlon 570 Vixen. It's kind of an oxy blood color. Um, I already recorded my um, nail for this. Uh, month. This is the first nail polish that I was wearing um, the, the next day that I bought it. So absolutely love this color. It looks a little brown maybe on camera but it is a dark dark oxy blood color and absolutely loved it. And the second nail polish that I picked up from Revlon is I'm yet to try this. This looks yeah, this looks true to its color that it's showing on camera right now. And this is 471 Fashionista. So these were the two nail products I picked up from there and I also happened to go to Sally Beauty Supply and I picked up these little cute nail polishes and these are actually, they remind me quite a lot of the Lux FX SE nail polishes. I think a cut above and I'm not sure what the other name is but this is the Sally Girl nail polishes for about 99 cents each. The glitter on this is fantastic. Um, absolutely loved the glitter uh very very huge chunks you have different size of glitters right here this is the pink one and this is the silver color and these two were on discounted prices at the back of the store this is a finger paints nail polish and this is what i'm wearing on my nails today right now during this video and it's in the shade tiffany imposter i think this was about three dollars change and very very nice blue color right there and the, this one is already that I've that I wore in my nails of the month for October November and this is China glaze it's kind of a duochrome nail polish you can see the shade right there it has um, flecks of gold showing through but it's it's kind of on the blue green um, shade and this is called unpredictable so yeah, 1163 Unpredictable. So those were the nail polishes I picked up. And I also picked up this lipstick in Revlon. Super Lustrous Lipstick 026 Abstract Orange. When I looked at this in the store, this looked like a closer dupe to my Clinique lipstick that is in Sassy Spice. Whenever I wear that lipstick, either in a video or generally, generally in public, I always get questions about that on what shade I was wearing. This looked like that but um, unfortunately it's not. It's more of an orange shade and that's more of a brown with some kind of shimmer. So I thought this will be a perfect dupe and I can show, show it to you girls out there. But yeah, this is what this lipstick looks like and I love, I love this color. It's not what I'm wearing today, of course not. I'm wearing my Elianto lipstick in Super Shine Shine Up with SPF 15 in Mocha Rose 07. This is a Malaysian lipstick, fantastically, very, very moisturizing. The color payoff is absolutely fantastic. Let me go ahead and quickly show you a swatch. So that's this color right here. So yeah. And also I picked up, I was walking across in the mall and I happened to um, see a 
buy three anything buy anything in the store buy any three items for $30 in the body shop so I wanted to try this tea tree line from a very very long time and I've bought this tea tree blackhead exfoliating wash the buy three for 30 was a very good deal because usually the prices that I was the products that I was eyeing in body shop are usually around 16 to 18 dollars and this seemed like a very very good deal for me so I bought this tea tree tea tree usually smells if you're aware of tea tree smell great for those of you who don't know tea tree is more of a mixture of minty smell uh, with those um, what do you call them camphor it's it's like camphor and mint mixed together so that's what it is but to tell you kind of a very very quick review right now is this worked absolutely fantastic it says it's a tea tree blackhead exfoliating wash i have not used this extensively over the blackheads that i have around my nose but it kind of dried up this particular pimple this was a little juicy when I was using this and the next morning I noticed that this was drying up so that's fantastic if this is what this is going to do to me I'm going to love this a lot so yeah a very very quick review and I've been eyeing this particular cream from a very long time but I was taking a back step because this is $16 and it's basically a vitamin E intense moisture cream so I bought this in this deal and I absolutely loved it and this is the honey and oat three in one scrub mask. So this is how it looks like. And this is a one or two grams or a hundred ml or 3.6 ounces um, little tub there. And this intense moisture cream is about 50 ml. That's about 48 grams and 1.7 ounces um, small tub. And this one is a hundred ml bottle again so yeah and lastly my purchase this was something that i was looking forward to since a friend suggested from a very long time and this is the levi's jeans um kind of expensive uh, but to tell you very honestly i'm wearing my aeropostal jeans right now and once i wear this levi's curve id jeans in demi curve this is absolutely fantastic this was about $50 with taxes and the fitting is very very perfect it it feels like it's tailored for you that's how comfortable it is um, usually the curve ID jeans in Levi's I'm sure it's a very old line this has come up some time back there it has been some while some time but uh, I never wanted to try out people keep saying that you have to invest in a good pair of jeans and they will last you for a very very long time and I never paid attention to that but after buying this jeans I will definitely hands down recommend for any of you who want to try a good pair of jeans I have not tried any jeans from Gap people say Gap jeans also are quite good enough so um, this jeans is this color right here it's a basic blue jeans and I am in the shade uh, I'm in the size 29 by 30 so 29 is my waist size and 30 is my length and this fits perfectly for a curve ID jeans you usually have to go to the store and tell them that you want to try a curve ID jeans and they have some kind of measurement tape that they uh, put around your waist they ask you to bend down to the left bend down to the right all do all these circus antiques and then um, they will tell you what size you are so in this demi curve you again have boot cut straight cut straight fit skinny fit everything so this is a demi curve skinny jeans and uh, it's very very skinny it fits so perfectly and oh my god it's like someone um, took my measurements and uh, stitched this jeans for me you know so yeah this is my little little haul and um, this is going to be my last haul for this year I am trying to do a don't buy December um, challenge so I'm not going to buy anything towards December I mean I have all the makeup that I want I have all the nail polish that I want so I don't want to get tempted by all these um, email alerts from Ulta, Forever 21 and Slips Face and Ebates and stuff like that. So I am 
uh, going to do a don't buy December and I'm actually going to tag few of my friends who I don't want to um, who I want to tag who I don't want them to shop at all and I want them to save their money so I'm going to go ahead and tag my friends below go ahead and check them out and uh, this don't buy December is going to be um, exclusive for the basic necessities that I would be needing for the month like my hair shampoo or uh, my body wash or something like that so apart from the apart from those things I'm not going to shop for anything else and I'm not going to do any kind of hauls for December December is going to be completely reviews and uh, maybe a couple of holiday tutorials and stuff like that so thank you for watching um, I hope you had a good thanksgiving vacation i hope you shopped well for all those who wanted to shop uh, like crazy and uh, i am on instagram right now um my instagram username is desi girl 1010 that's my youtube channel name so go ahead and check me out i keep posting pictures it's a lot of fun on instagram uh, so i would be so happy if you guys follow me there as well and i will talk to you guys soon bye bye